Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload in the last session. We got done with the most recent full moon day and uh, got the got through the boss fight with very minimal difficulty. It was like night and day difference compared to the lovers one, so that's encouraging for the future, I guess. Maybe it won't all be as hard as that. Uh, and we also got ourselves a brand new teammate. Little doggo here, Koromaru, I believe the name is. He is now a full-fledged team member, a doggo with a persona. True. Oh, yes. Pet the doggo. Yes. Koromaru looks content. Maybe I should take him for a walk tomorrow instead. Cool. I comprehend. Koromaru-san's persona exhibits a unique characteristic. It seems he has two types of powers that can be activated when using Theogy. Oh, I didn't look at that. This is one of his biggest advantages. Wait, hang on. Did I, did I just not see that? Because I did look at his thing, didn't I? Oh yeah, I just saw the Hand of Hades one. I didn't see Power Howling. The next physical attack will deal more than double damage for all allies. Damn. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I wonder how good it is. It's got to be overall... If your whole team is doing Fizz, if your team is like Akihiko, Junpei, and I guess, I guess, well no, because Kuromaru would have to take one of those spots, so, if, yeah, if you have two of those three people in, then I guess that'd work, and then Makoto does another big physical himself, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I had failed to notice that last time. Whoa. Dogs can be very reliable, you know. Why, there are rescue dogs, seeing eye dogs, narcotic detection dogs? Let's put our trust in Koromaru. Um... By the way... What are we going to do about Koro-chan's meals? Are we going to buy dog food or cook homemade meals for him? We should decide soon. ba ba da ba ba -do. What? Summer school, huh? Well, it's not that I hate studying that much, but I just don't think we should have to go to school during summer vacation, you know? Agreed. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit all the way to hell and back. Not that. What am I doing? Town map. There we go. Uh, man in a suit is there again. Okay, well, let's go have a fucking look, shall we? Man in a suit. Can we start your thing now? Hey. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Uh, is this for real? This is actually a thing I have to do? Yes, yes, very good. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Goodbye now. Bro! You've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking me. This is a joke of a practical nature. The fuck? Alright. Junpei, my guy. Hey! You think we should check on those planters up there? I know you're not supposed to give them too much water, but what if they're not getting enough? Sure. I'm not too confident doing it on my own, so if you're free, that'd be cool. Alright. Sweet. Let's get to it. Grow up big and strong, my precious, luxurious veggies. Man. All this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. It just feels like busy work. Treat your garden like a lover. Like a what? What the hell does that even mean? But, uh, maybe you have a point. You gotta treat it with love and kindness. Sound about right, oh wise one? No, actually, I was talking about Gotta fucking say, the plants. What do you think? a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place. So I gotta be the one to look after. True. I tended the planters with Junpei. 
Da 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 da! The veggies have leveled up! The extra care is paying off! Ooh, another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. Sunday the 9th. It's almost time for the fucking shopping show. Where he'll go, hey, I'm gonna require 50 billion yen, please. Also, the crops are ready, okay. It's amazing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. What have you got? Good, good. Isotope soda. Ten of them. SP restoring. Okay. Not bad. And some kid. mad balls. Twenty mad balls. Okay. Oh my god, for a cheap price? You've got to be kidding. That's insane. Holy fuck. Yes, please. Thanks, kid. God damn. Bye -bye. God damn, that's great. That is great. Cool. Sports and school work the same. No matter how strong you are, those who don't put in the effort fail. It's the same with school. If you don't study, you won't pass your tests. By the way... Oh, right. This is Koromaru's new home, isn't it? It's gonna be a lot of fun with him around. <laughs> I wonder if Koro-chan is enjoying dorm life. I really hope he'll get used to it and then come to love it one day. Let's see. It must be easier taking Koromaru on walks with the nights being cooler this time of year. Dogs can't regulate their body heat by sweating, you see. So remember to keep an eye on him. By the way... I have heard that Koromaru-san's persona is Cerberus. This being appears in Greek mythology as the watchdog of the underworld. Considering how Koromaru-san was guarding his, the shrine alone for quite some time, it suits him perfectly. Uh, Junpei has a double... Fuck. Junpei has a fucking unique thing, a unique hangout. But it's Sunday, Junpei, you bitch. It's Sunday, I need to fucking do the fucking hermit one on Sunday. You son of a bitch. And now there's another fucking social link at the shrine? Oh my god. God damn it, Junpei. Why today? On a Sunday, man. On a Sunday. Yo. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. You see my message? The one about my great idea? I was thinking of carrying it out. I didn't actually see your message. Hang on, let's read the message. Seriously? Man, I guess we can do it some other time then. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I haven't read your message yet. Uh, did you run 100 laps? Amazing. Some summertime fun. Oh, he doesn't actually say what the idea is. Okay. God damn it. God damn it, Junpei. Literally, why today? Why today when there's so much else I should be doing? <laughs> Hell yeah, you know what's up. Okay, then I'm gonna go buy the thing we need. Just wait for me here. That's one magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So... I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the dark. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. What are you really getting at? Honest to God, I just want the kid to have a fun summer. Look into my eyes. But they lie to you? Yes. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a Oh, fuck me, of kids. course. Of course. And you know what that means? I'm going to need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you, no oh boy. 
and I think my arms are gonna fall off. Drops it, splits on the ground. Ah, yes. Today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. Lamau. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? Fucking it's Lamau. more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Come on, we're bored. Hey, don't make it sound like we have nothing better to do. I have yeah, so many better things to really do, Junpei. Huh? So on, many. Let's have some fun. Well, when you put it that way, maybe just for a little bit. So many better things to do, Junpei. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. We didn't forget about you. All right. What are we wait for? The youngest gets to drop for his blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Oh, that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah? Well, it's not some big secret or anything. I used to play tons of baseball back in the day. But that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Nah, uh, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Corin Murray is trying to tell us something. Lifts his leg and pisses on the watermelon. Hey, come on, Koromaru. We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? Let's use Ken. Let's smash Ken into the watermelon. What do you want to use? Anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. That would be pretty interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? Someone say my name? Wanna beat up a watermelon? Oh, Sonata-san! <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon button, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bat? We want you to use your fists! My fists? On this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Jubei-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. Alright. Guess I better make this good then. Hey, try not to go all out, or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata son, you're incredible! What? What? He's such a fanboy. What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? I mean. That looked like it split into I reasonable that pieces. Thing was still edible after it exploded like that. It didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but it looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? Yeah, you it must know, be a day of the week for you. Before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. Did I accidentally skip? Did I just? I must have just. Did he? I think I just skipped that line, but it was only a tiny bit. Before we busted the melon. I think I just rested the controller on my leg and it knocked a button. Uh, I was just trying to be thoughtful. Didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but... I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead... The kid ends up pitying me. Ah, da -da -da. Let's give him a little 
more fucking boost. You have great qualities. <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault, dude. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, it's just all over the place. I feel like most people feel like that. Anyway, I think we're done for today. Yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. I did, at least. Well, maybe it's not most people. Downstairs. I don't know. I feel like my charm has improved after seeing how considerate Junpei is. Yo, level 5 charm. We are popular, baby. Nice. So it's one more level of charm to get Yukari unlocked, and one more level of courage to get Fuka unlocked, was it? Still need two more on academics to get Mitsuru. We are almost there for the other two. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? Uh, sure. That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the mess. Did he say... Maybe I misheard. I thought he said he's totally awesome. And then the thing said welcome. Um, I'm pretty sure Korachan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Banter. Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. <laughs> Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, anyway. uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Can you un-go oh, along with it? I'm my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl. Awaiting me by the shoreline. <laughs> the city or the shores. Pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? Another request, eh? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Nope. Oh, that's where Sonata Senpai was oh, treated before. Yes, then. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots? Bruh. <laughs> yes. I wonder how Koromaru's evoker works, like, visually. Because he can't hold a gun up and shoot himself in his head. <laughs> I was just talking with everyone about Koromaru. He'll need to be taken on walks, but we won't be assigning that duty to anyone in particular. It would help if you could take Koromaru out for a walk at night if he seems he wants to go for one. Is that saying he wants to go for one right now? Well, where is he? You see, 
I don't want to hear that your grades are slipping because you're spending too much time in Tartarus. Well, don't worry, man. I don't want to spend any fucking time in Tartarus at all. So there will never be a situation where I'm spending too much time there. There's nothing I can do to help with that. So study hard and do your best in summer school. Bum, 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 bum. Where is Doggo? Anyone upstairs? Yes, before we do, I guess... Oh, hello, here's Doggo. Doggo does want to go for a walk then. Hmm, I kind of want to do I guess though. Um, um, can I help you? Let's see. I get not wanting to attend summer school, but I think it's necessary. After we defeat the rest of the shadows, we'll become ordinary high school students again. And if we fall behind in our studies now, we'll be in big trouble later. <laughs> well, that's it. Junpei the Wise has yet another brilliant idea. All I have to do is become a dog. Then I won't have to go to summer school either. Yes? Hmm? Koro-chan is trying to say something. I bet he's complimenting me for being so smart. Are you stupid or something? I bet he's laughing at you saying how stupid you are, Stupe. Mm. Summer school starts tomorrow. Oh fuck, already? Jesus. Didn't realize it was that close. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm dreading it. Yeah, seriously! Damn right! Hey, Koromaru, wanna switch places with me? Okay, do we want to do Igis or do we want to do Koromaru? Is the question. Is the question. It's like, I. It would be fun to go on a dog walk. I would like to do that, but in terms of the gameplay reward, I, it doesn't look like he's going to be good enough to make the team usually, so it's not like urgent to do his, whereas I would like I guess is. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Should I, should I, should I? I think I should do Igus's. Sorry, Doggo. Igus might gain a new ability soon. Very good. I am ready to deploy at any time. Shall we engage, Makoto-san? Yes. Let's go. Understood. I will begin making my way to the rooftop with maximum efficiency. It appears they are growing well. Hip hip hooray, as they say. The ladybug has grown into a fine adult as well. I believe this is mission complete. Well done. It's thanks to your help. I tried to do everything in my power. I'm glad I was of service. The ladybug put in a lot of work as well. We thank you for your service. I've realized something, tending these plants alongside you. I've made many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, and the pests, and the ladybug too, and you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I will do my best to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. That is my new goal from now on. I won't let you beat me. I am impressed. I hadn't expected a competition here. Hearing that, my motivation is fully charged, as they say. I guess seems to have found a new purpose through tending the plants. Donk. Fizz boost strengthens physical skills. Well, shit, that's fucking great. That do be fucking excellent. Hell yeah. Naturally, I will still continue to look after them at full throttle. 
Let's get started right away. Attended the plants. They're going to grow nicely. Once again, our mission has concluded without incident today. Let's head back now. Hell yeah. Strengthens physical skills just as a baseline. That's just great. Monday the 10th. Summer school starts today. Woo! Hooray! Good morning! Morning! Woo! It's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the health checkup? I think I did. What? Mm hmm. You don't sound very sure. Yours is on August 14th. Don't forget, okay? Anyway, it's seriously way too hot out here. Let's hurry and get inside. I need to be in a classroom with air conditioning stat. Oh, it must be nice to have fucking air conditioning. Jesus Christ, I wish that we had air conditioning at Ascot. It's the first day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay atten attention to the lecture. And I get academics points, I guess. Hooray. Free academics points. Love me some free points. Big fan. Wait, we don't get an evening on today's with the summer school? What? What? We're just gonna fucking blitz right through this week? Oh my god. Why do we not get an evening? School drains me that much? Let's get on with today's lesson. Oh fuck me, it's the fucking yapper. It's the fucking yapper. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through the class. Focus, focus. <laughs> Still? Who would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer? You sure are a curious lot. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Well anyway, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is tarot. Well, that's right. Those cards often used in fortune telling. Despite originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. There are a variety of tarot card decks, including the Marseille and the Rider decks. But today, in honor of the great Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. So, continuing on. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot, 78 cards? Fucking hell, I thought they were like 15 or some shit. 78? Is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pip cards. The major arcana feature a variety of its illustrations on their faces. Beginning with the fall and ending with the universe. They tell a story in numerical order that represents an individual's journey through life. Each major arcana represents a stage on that journey. And each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Let's do just that. They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. Please no, please God no, this is a joke. This is a joke, right? Surely we're not doing this. The first card, numbered zero, is the Fool. It represents beginnings and suggests infinite possibilities. In other words, the beginning of life. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The High Priestess, are we, we're really doing this, huh? The High Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents both motherhood and maternal love, as well as one's vitality. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fatherhood as well as leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It is a symbol for religion. 
That is to say... The lovers represent choice. Here, the individual finally begins to develop a conscience. The chariot represents the individual's victory, but only a momentary one. Justice is exactly what it sounds like. Knowing what is right and what is wrong. The hermit represents self-reflection. In other words, searching for answers deep within one's heart. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities it brings. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. The hanged man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the 13th card, which is aptly named Death. Death is considered a transitional card. With death, the old ends and the new begins. All right. Now let us move on to what happens following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites. Opening one's eyes to the world allows for growth. And then an encounter with the devil is where one faces temptation. At the tower, the individual's values will start to collapse. It seems as if there's nothing to believe in. The individual then finds a glimmer of hope in the star, granting one peace and serenity. In turn, this makes one vulnerable to the moon's illusions, which gives way to fear and trepidation. But the individual may be rewarded with a bright future by the person you're watching, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at journey's end, when looking back on the path one has traveled. The final card is the universe, which represents the individual reaching full awareness. And that's the growth of an individual as explained by these bullshit cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet, hmm? Well then... Well, now you can use all 78 cards to divide the future in detail. But most people only use the 22 Major Arcana. Next, let's talk about fortune telling using the Major Arcana. Holy shit. Bro is fucking living up to his yappa name. Jesus Christ, man. Cease. Desist. Fuck off. First, you will need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change. Now this is important, so pay attention. Oh my god, it's over. It's fucking over. Jesus Christ, Mr. Edegawa continues to drone on and on. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention somehow, despite the most boring topic. Literally begins with, this is all bullshit because these were originally fucking regular playing cards and then someone was just like, oh, maybe I'll just fucking pretend that these tell the future. They're literally just playing cards. Insanity. Insanity that anyone actually believes that shit. Wednesday the 12th. My god. My god. It do be crazy. It's the third day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Again. Clap. Give me points. Level me up. Level me up, big boy. Come on. Come on, I need that academics out. We need to get Mitsuri. Thursday the 13th. Fuck, now we're speeding through these weeks. I'm going to be back in Tartarus before I know it. No. No. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Anyone else get a feeling of deja vu? Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Still no? Fuck me. I feel like I've put so many points into academics. 14th. It's almost time to head to summer school. I need to stop by Tatsumi Memorial Hospital on the way back later today. It's the fifth day of summer school. I uh, guess we'll get started. No, 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 not more yapping. No, no, no! Now, <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, God. Let's begin. yod hey vav hey. How are you all handling the heat? I could brew you some of my special tea if you'd like. Hey, hey, hey. Now. 
let's continue with our summer, a uh, special summer course, The Truth Behind Magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It is known as the mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but as I've mentioned before, it had a great impact on Western sorcery. It has been said that to learn the secrets of magic, you must first understand Kabbalah. Okay then. So, who was the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? Well, according to legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses. The Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. However, because it features such a complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now, it is important to note that there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is Gematria, the, in the interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is notar Notarikon, where you take a letter from each word to form another sentence or thought. There is also Temera, a method where the letters of words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these different methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. So, continuing on. Now, one of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, comprised of the Ten Sephirot. Sephirot? Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. The ten nodes represented by the Sephirot and the 22 paths connecting them all come together to form a map of God's creation and the spiritual ascent of man. Where did we come from? Where are we going, Cotton Eye Joe? These answers lie in the Sephirot. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephirot every so often. And when you're meditating, you should focus on the Sephirot as well. This is going to be on the test, you know. They say knowledge is another form of magic, so study hard. If you find yourself struggling, well, you may wish to turn to the Sephirot. <laughs> By the way, did you all notice that I said there are 22 paths? <laughs> yes, that's right. The same number as the major arcana I spoke of before. Hey, hey, hey. Now, continuing on. Please don't. Please don't continue on. Please, please stop right now. According to the Kabbalah, existence is broken up into four worlds. Oh yes, before I forget, I'll be giving supplementary lessons at the nurse's office as of the second semester. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations with tarot cards. As such. But I won't have time for that during the lecture, so if you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Edogawa continues to drone on and on. Despite the summer heat, I managed to shoot myself in the head. And then I realized I wasn't in Tartarus and I just died. But that was okay, because it got me out of this fucking lecture. Oh, thank you, God. Okay, okay. We, you know what? Worth. Worth. We're up to rank five. We do be intelligent. We do be an intelligent boy. One fucking rank remains on all of these bitches. One fucking rank to go. We're so nearly there. I should go to the Tatsumi Memorial Hospital for my checkup. 